the last bill is a little bit convoluted. It's uh, it's. Thank you uh, very much, Henry. Appreciate. Thank you, thank Colonel. You. We appreciate you being here and for your forthrightness. Thank you. Uh, Senate Bill 616 is is similar to a bill we heard before, where we authorize the Department of Transportation, based upon engineering criteria and 85th percentile, and and all the things that I talked about earlier on another bill, to look at the, at setting the speed limits. This does it does it differently after consulting with them, and that they say that if you don't have speed limits set in law by the legislature then a good lawyer, like we've heard from a number of this morning, would say, well, you didn't have a speed limit sign for 10 miles. How was I supposed to know what the speed limit was? Well, ignorance of the law is no excuse, so that's why you have the speed limit set in law. This simply says that where you have those base speed limits or minimum speed limits set in law by the legislature, they can use their criteria and their judgment of can they go over that in some of the rural areas with the newer highways that we built, increase it over those minimums that we have posted in law. So that's that would be the effect of this bill and would give them that that ability and that latitude. Senator Adley. Just show me, you're talking about a, a minimum speed. Is what I, you kept saying base was the no, word you I, used. I apologize, you're correct. So... I'm trying to, as I look at it, I'm trying to find out how it references they can go above, they can raise the minimum. No, I, I misstated. You're correct. It's a maximum speed limit because in the absence of speed zone signs, then we want to have in law the maximum that they can travel. But, the, but if the department posts speed limits in excess of that, then that is the legal speed limit. Well, the, the, but in the absence of those posted speed zones, then that maximum post in law is a determinant. And then, then I only want to say to you, I noticed the last line of your bill says the department shall erect appropriate signs. Uh -oh. I want to wish you good luck. Well, I, I have seen I have seen a number of your signs have There's gone. One on I forty nine, just north of Appaloosa. And I saw another one somewhere else. Well, I don't know. You must have been down there in Homer or somewhere. Ain't nowhere somewhere. between Opelousa and Shreveport but one. <laughs> We're going to get them to post a, a sign on the front of your car. That's no, it ain't me. You need to get it on. That re no, it, but it reads backwards to where when they're looking in their rearview mirror, it says, get over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are there any questions on a... Uh, on uh, Senate Bill 616, we understand what it's doing. It simply gives them the authorization to raise speed limits based upon their design criteria. It gets us out of the business of uh, understanding those things. They already have that. It doesn't change that. They, they can set speed limits. This simply says that they can set over that maximum speed limit we put in law. Department of Transportation Department, uh, Senator Shaw. Thank you. Uh, Senator Heitmeyer would move that Senate Bill 616 be reported favorably with that, without objection. Uh, that concludes our business. Appreciate your patience. Uh, all those people that wanted to defer bills, we'll hear those next week, hopefully with some good input. Thank you.